the White House, President Eisenhower and Japanese Premier Kishi sign a new treaty elevating the one-time foe to full status as ally and equal. I comment on the pact. The signing today of the Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security between Japan and the United States is truly a historical occasion at which I am honored to be present. This treaty represents the fulfillment of the goal set by Prime Minister Kishi and myself in June of 1957 to establish an indestructible partnership between our two countries in which our relations would be based on complete equality and mutual understanding. The treaty likewise reflects the closeness and breadth of our relations in the political and economic as well as security fields. Eighteen years after Pearl Harbor, Premier Kishi, a one-time war criminal, links his country's future more closely with the United States. The new agreement is a key factor in the defense of the Far East against the growing might of Red China. This historic occasion was also the first time an international treaty of this kind was ever signed in the White House, and many notable capital figures were present, a stately as well as a momentous event.